statements, Colleen. Well, just today, the senator visited a drug treatment center near Cincinnati and said he remains concerned about future access to Medicaid for low-income Ohioans, particularly those receiving drug addiction treatment. It echoes his statement from last week, but he expressed those concerns after it became clear that Senate Republican leaders did not have enough votes to advance their health care bill. Today, Central Ohio Congresswoman Joyce Beatty told me she calls that testing the wind. She says the real test will be if Portman and other Republicans continue to oppose the bill until Medicaid is restored. If we go back next week and there's a vote, and clearly it's not an open vote where we've had hearings and where Democrats and Republicans are sitting down to fix those things. The health care plan we have, it's not perfect, but it's not something that we should be repealing. And then talking about in a letter date, trust me, that's like me saying to someone, give me all the money in your bank account. And then I'm going to tell you six months from now what I'm going to do with it or how much money I'm going to give you back. We can't gamble with hardworking Americans' health care.